In this video, I will be sharing the top reviews of the book called, The Five Love Languages. The Secret to Love That Lasts. Authored by Gary Chapman, who is the author of numerous other books published by Moody Publishers, Northfield Publishing, including Anger, The Family You've Always Wanted, The Marriage You've Always Wanted, Desperate Marriages, God Speaks Your Love Language, Parenting Your Adult Child, and Hope for the Separated. He co-authored The Five Languages of Apology with Dr. Jennifer Thomas. Chapman speaks to thousands of couples nationwide through his weekend marriage conferences. He hosts a nationally syndicated radio program, Love Language Minute, and a Saturday morning program, Building Relationships with Dr. Gary Chapman, that air on more than 400 stations. Dr. Chapman also serves as Senior Associate Pastor at Calvary Baptist Church in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. But before we get to the reviews let's see a little bit of what this book is about. Falling in love is easy. Staying in love, that's the challenge. How can you keep your relationship fresh and growing amid the demands, conflicts, and just plain boredom of everyday life? In the number one New York Times bestseller The Five Love Languages, you'll discover the secret that has transformed millions of relationships worldwide. Whether your relationship is flourishing or failing, Dr. Gary Chapman's proven approach to showing and receiving love will help you experience deeper and richer levels of intimacy with your partner, starting today. The Five Love Languages is as practical as it is insightful. Updated to reflect the complexities of relationships today, this new edition reveals intrinsic truths and applies relevant, actionable wisdom in ways that work. Includes the couple's personal profile assessment so you can discover your love language and that of your loved one. Now let's get to the reviews. Mimi from the United States says this book is a tool through which the author, Gary Chapman, can play out his Jesus complex disguised as a relationship self-help book. There are references from the Bible throughout almost every chapter and Gary likes to include generous praise from his clients who call him a miracle worker. It's damn near pretty close to being called God. The book has all the hallmarks of a bestseller. Easy to read. I read it in one day hopeless circumstances that seem beyond repair, and an uplifting ending. The more bestsellers I read, the more I realize that the formula for mainstream media isn't just used in music and movies, it's used in books, too. Ah, how annoying. I admit I was almost sold on it, too. The author used just the right amount of despair and at the appropriate moments, instilled hope for a better future. And while hope isn't bad at all, the book lacks in addressing the complexity of relationships as well as the diversity of relationships in today's world. For example, this book may not translate well in multicultural relationships that are dictated by a whole different set of mores and values. Also, I wonder how it would be relevant to queer couples or polyamorous relationships. It's quite apparent that this book is meant for hetero-white Christian monogamous couples. But the one major caveat of this book that isn't so much a caveat as a poorly disguised advocate of misogyny, is the case of a woman who has been abused. What type of abuse has been perpetrated isn't made explicit and Gary's reluctance to do so makes me suspicious of how the church deals with issues of domestic violence. Gary's advice? Dismiss any of your own feelings of discomfort, being used for sex, and have sex with your husband as an act of love and hope that he will reciprocate that love. And what I don't understand is how people have overlooked this, even people who are in the psychology field. That's one thing he doesn't really address, how to identify your limits and make compromises. If you can't see the problem with this picture, I pray you never get married. Or have a relationship. Or speak to people. Brittany from the United States says I think the basis for this self-help book is good. I totally get the love languages thing. My husband's love language is physical affection and mine is quality time. I totally see that. But this is like a love language for dummies. It talks to you like you're an idiot who has never had basic human social interaction before. And there isn't really any advice, just this guy rambling on about how smart he is for figuring out that people need to be loved in different ways. Like, his advice for someone whose spouse, not partner, not life mate, and, in this instance, always the wife, prefers acts of service, as a love language, because wives love when their husband does the laundry for them. Basically, is just that. Do the laundry without being asked. Well no shit. That's not real advice, that's common sense. And if the husband were to argue, I don't have time, 
I work a lot so that I can provide for my family, blah blah blah. He just says, well make time. Super helpful, guy. Catherine from Ohio says this book was recommended to my friend by her pastor to read before she got married. My assumption was that it would be religious in tone and not very relevant to today's relationships. I'm so glad I was wrong. This is one of those books I would suggest everyone read. It is such a simple explanation of what can so often go wrong in relationships. It's not about men versus women, it's about the way people receive love. The basis is there are five love languages, obviously. And if you speak a different love language than your partner, then you may not feel loved. I'm sure everyone responds to all of these in some way, but we all have a primary language. There is a great quiz in the back that can help you more quickly define yours. By reading the book, I knew what mine was, but the survey pinpointed it to AT and helped me rank mine by importance, even better than I think I could have done on my own. This book will help you in your current relationships, of all kinds, not just romantic, and any future relationships you'll have. It really pinpoints how relationships can fall apart after the honeymoon period is over, even if you still love each other. It helps you understand how to show your love for someone else in a way that they'll best receive it. I could give a bunch of examples from the book, but I want you to read it. So go get it from the library today. Then share with me what your primary language is. I'd love to know everyone's. Mine is words of affirmation. Hildy from Texas says my mother-in-law gave me this book and I hesitated reading it because it sounds so cheesy, and just take a look at the cover, how dorky. But I was stuck on vacation with nothing else to read so I reluctantly gave it a try. In a nutshell, this book has changed my life. Page after page I found myself wanting to yell, yes. That's exactly right. If I could give this more than 5 stars, I would. Okay, maybe change my life is a bit strong, but it has certainly enhanced my marriage like nothing else I've ever read or done. The advice this author gives is so profound and universal, it can be applied successfully to any deep relationship you have, children, parents, close friends. I just can't recommend it highly enough. Every couple, whether newly together or old marrieds, could benefit from this book. Shannon from the United States says I absolutely recommend this book to everyone. Whether you are married, dating, single, whatever. The ideas and concepts in this book will benefit any relationship. The idea of loving others the way they need to be loved might feel counterintuitive, but it is something so essential to growing as a person and understanding what love really is. I had always known about this book and the love languages, but this was the first time I actually read it. Of course, as with any self-help type of book, there were a few cheesy moments, which is why I docked it half a star, but overall it was a fantastic read. I have provided the sources of this video in the description, please feel free to check them out. Thank you for watching this video, if you like this video then please subscribe to the channel and share this video.